Now to the pandemic's impact on the local tourism industry. Comcast released its earnings report this morning for the theme park division, and it came, no surprise, with a big loss. News 6's Mark Lehman is at Universal with more on what this means for the future of the parks. Overall, Comcast, which owns Universal, is actually reporting a first quarter profit of $3.33 billion. But when it comes to the theme parks division, struggles are continuing from the pandemic. Even so, company leaders remain hopeful. In the first quarter earnings report for 2021, Comcast is giving insight into how its theme parks are performing one year removed from the start of the pandemic. The results showing continued losses for Universal. Theme parks revenue decreased 33% to $619 million, and the park's adjusted loss was $61 million for the quarter. Company leaders say the decrease is from limited capacity at parks that were open. A large portion is also attributed to Universal Studios Hollywood, which was closed for more than a year in reopened less than two weeks ago. Now that things are finally opening, especially Universal, you know, it's nice to have something to look forward to. All of this comes as Universal Orlando has been hoping for a bounce back in tourism since reopening last summer. COVID restrictions have had a big impact on attendance and company leaders are looking for those numbers to rise as restrictions are eventually relaxed. In March, the company also announced work is resuming on its new Orlando theme park, Epic Universe. This coming after construction was put on hold last July due to uncertainty from the pandemic. The bottom line in all of this is that despite quarter one losses, Comcast says things are on the upswing with theme parks. The hope is that as vaccinations become more widespread, parks could return to more normal operations in the coming months. In Orlando, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.